I initially thought that I wasn't going to have a daughter that lived beyond her teenage years. They told us that she would never ride a bike. They told us that she probably would be full-time in a wheelchair by the time she was in her teens. It's like they were talking about a different girl, really. So today I'm here to compete in the dressage winter qualifiers. It's the first time 20-year-old Anna May is competing with her new horse, Dan. Anna needs to get five points in order to qualify for the home international, but she's got bigger dreams than that. My ultimate goal is to compete in the Paralympics, either at 2020 in Tokyo or 2024 in LA. I first started horse riding at the age of 11. I started showing an interest in dressage about two years ago. Dressage is a partnership or a bond between horse and rider. And you're in an arena and you've got to do a specific test. And it's meant to make it look like you're dancing with your horse. Anna's journey into horse riding hasn't been easy. Anna was about 20 months old when a health visitor came to the house to tell me that she felt there was a problem with Anna. She couldn't stand, she couldn't crawl, she struggled to sit. We were sent to see a consultant the following day um, and bloods were taken for DNA testing, genetic testing. Charcot Marie tooth disease is a group of inherited conditions that damage the peripheral nerves. This means the muscles in Anna's limbs are weakened, therefore making everyday tasks difficult. CMT affects my day-to-day -day life immensely, um, from fastening buttons on my coat to sleeping at night. Um, it affects all my limbs, arms and legs, feet, hands. I always knew that there was a possibility that my children could have inherited this condition. Um, and it's on a 50-50 um, chance. But I always thought it wouldn't happen to us. That was just naivety. When Anna Mae was first diagnosed with the CMT, it was we were devastated. When I first started horse riding, I was in a wheelchair for the majority of the time. So your horse is going to take over your freedom. You get on a horse and they do the work and you can go and explore like everyone else can explore. As well as Anna's first diagnosis, she also had to battle with another serious health condition from a young age. Anna May was probably about four years old. We were called to the hospital. We didn't know that anybody was looking for anything, so it came as a bit of a, a shock to us. She then had a, a second condition, which is unrelated to CMT, shock and my tooth, and it's called cherubism. Um, and the only nice thing about cherubism is its name. Cherubism is a rare condition involving the bones of the face. The solid bone in the lower parts of the skull and jaw is replaced by fibrous tissue, leading to swollen looking cheeks. Symptoms are face deformities, no teeth, um, pain. When you have x-rays, you don't have bones, you just have little tumours. When you reach 18 or 21, the tumours stop growing unless they become injured, so if you hit your face. We were always told that she mustn't suffer any trauma. Mother Nature wasn't really very kind to anime because the CMT makes her fall a lot um, and the cherubism isn't to suffer any trauma. So. There's an incompatibility there. Although Anna didn't start riding until aged 11, her interest started a lot earlier. I think Anna always had an interest in riding, but because of her disability and because 
we were always advised that she couldn't do anything that sort of posed an extra risk. It was very, very much discouraged. Anna asked me for years to go horse riding. Oh my <laughs> God, how many times? <laughs> how could you even put a number on that? How many times? <laughs> Anna had been bleating on about going and I bit the bullet and decided, okay, I'm gonna let her have a go. I started learning to ride at Holden Riding Stables with Mary Carr. She gave me the opportunity to start riding because I wasn't accepted at any other riding stables. I think other riding stables were reluctant because of health and safety, but I'm a great believer that everybody should have a chance. I couldn't see it as a problem and we were happy to have her. It just progressed from there on, having lessons, doing pony club on Saturday, and then getting her own horse but with the determination um with all the lessons i mean yeah she's a fantastic rider now absolutely incredible having terrorism bothered me in my younger years i wasn't the same as everyone else I hated school. I hated it. I didn't want to go. And it wasn't because the school was a bad school, because no, it was a lovely school. It was a really nice school. Why did you hate it then? Because I was badly bullied. I think at that like sort of age, people don't like anything different. So I am different, and, and people didn't like it. So if you know what kids are like, if they can find something to pick on, they will. I used to feel very isolated when I was in my wheelchair because I used to have a one-to-one -one with me. So it was like a little shadow that used to follow me around, which I absolutely hated. She was never allowed to be a little girl. Outside her school life through horse riding, Anna made friends. One of the people she met along the way was Pip. I met Anna May through Holden Riding Stables. I think I was about 15 when Anna came up, so I've known her for the past eight years or so. If someone judged Anna um, before they knew her and before they knew what she was passionate about and how hard that she works, then they'd be really foolish. If they judged her based on her disability, they would be shocked by the things that she's achieved and where she is today with her dress up. And she got Bravest Child of the Year award when she was something like 12 years old, and that really stayed with her. The awards, they were held in um, it was very near Buckingham Palace yeah. and it was star studded. Every every other person was somebody famous. He kissed Prince Harry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it, it was really good. He was really nice. Anna has arrived at the competition at Solihull Riding Club. My first event in Dressage, I got selected for to ride for Somerset for the intercounty. I'd never done a dressage test in my life and I went to this massive event. There was about 120 competitors competing in a day, so it was quite daunting. But I came second and I was like, right, I want to come first next time. But things haven't been going smoothly. Just two days before the competition, Anna was rushed off to hospital with an injury. So I had a fall off down on Wednesday afternoon and spent the evening in A&E with mild concussion and broken foot. My mum didn't particularly want me to come, but for my determination I told her that I have to come so I need to get the scores. I was a little bit concerned because of our injury that she's had, but I just hope that um, today will work for her. With our dressage tests, we get marked on each movement out of ten and at the end of the test we get a percentage. We also get marked on our riding style. Today with Dan, because it's our first competition, I would be happy with getting 65% or more. As other competitors enter the arena, Anna is warming up for the last time. I'm feeling confident in the competition. On the other hand, I'm a bit nervous because I don't know what he's going to do or what this is going to be like. It's now time for Anna and Dan to enter the arena.
So I've just found out my results for the day. I came first to my first test. The points that I needed today, I got with my first test. I got the scores I needed ready for qualification for the Home International. Overall, I'm really pleased with our first outing. Now that Anna has gained six points, she has the chance to compete at the Home International, edging ever closer to the Paralympics. I still think she's amazingly brave. I think she's got a lot ahead of her. I'm waiting to see her in the next Olympics. I think she'd be great in the Paralympics and it'd be a lot of fun. And I think, I think she'll get there. We are all immensely proud of Anna. We couldn't be any more proud of her. She's just amazing. I live every day as it comes. I don't think I would give up horse riding easily. I would rather leave the world doing something I enjoy than be sat in a bed or sat in my chair 